How do you react? How do you react to your group's reputation as being the most revolting in the country? <laughs> I find it very amusing. There's no way it's a bad example. It's an extremely good example. And yet it's said that you're sick on stage, you spit at the audience and so on. I mean, how can this be a good example to children? Well, people are sick everywhere. People are sick and fed up of this country, telling them what to do. But not getting paid for it. Pardon? But not getting paid for putting on that sort of public show. Well, nor are we. We ain't even being allowed to play. Makes you sick, innit? In fact, you're acting as spokesman for the group today. Yes, indeed. Have you stopped them from talking? to us. Not at all. They're just so disgusted by having to answer so many questions about something so simple. Do you feel the publicity following the Thames television interview has been damaging or do you think it's helped you? I don't think it's been damaging, far from it. Whether it's helping us is another matter. The point is people are getting very discontented by the fact that kids who have bought and purchased tickets of these venues that are now being cancelled are having to travel further afield to see the band of their choice. What sort of future do you see the, a band like the Sex Pistols having? A long future? I do indeed. I think, I think at least they're standing up and um, not tolerating any form of censorship in their act. And in that sense, it's exhilarating a lot of young kids around the country and giving them confidence to stand up and say what they want. Would you not agree in any way that the packed halls which you're playing to wherever you can get a concert launched are entirely due to the bad publicity which you've had? Not at all. Many dates were sold out long before. How do you react to the reputation that your group is the most revolting in the country? Look, our group is creating a generation gap for the first time in five years in this country and a lot of people are feeling genuinely threatened by it. If the kids want to buy the record, it's called Anarchy in the UK, it's out in the shops, they can make their own decisions. And their mothers, they can ask them to equally make their decision about it. And if the mothers care anything about their young kids, they should be up in arms about having counsellors, of which they're paying taxes to, to, tell that, to, to uh, be angry with them about not allowing their kids to go in the concerts and making their own choice. But let's be absolutely frank about it. Do they enjoy being known as, as a revolting group? Every young kid is being, uh, is in, uh, finds enjoyment in being known as revolting. Dr. Nutrins, how come that the Sex Pistols, with their extraordinary reputation, are uh, playing in Leeds Polytechnic tonight when they've been banned virtually everywhere else? The only people who could really answer that is the Students' Union, which organises these kind of events. By, uh, you may think this odd, and there are times that I do, but by the Constitution and the Articles of Government of the Polytechnic, I have no authority over what the Students' Union does. I mean, I am very carefully controlled, I may say, but the Students' Union is an autonomous body which handles its own affairs and its own money. So if they want to have these people here, who, um, I, about whom I know nothing, but they sound to me, you know, as pure and, and, and disgusting as most of these people do, if they want it there, it is only the students themselves who could change that plan. The only thing that's where it affects me is, of course, the use of the building. And if something odd happens and the building is wrecked or destroyed or damage is done, and certainly if anybody's hurt, I think then of course I instantly have to step in. Well, of course, it's often been said that nobody ever went bust uh, underestimating public taste. Would you say that's true of students at Leeds Polytechnic? Oh, Leeds Polytechnic, like every other institution of higher education in this country, is exactly symptomatic of the population as a whole. Students are no different from anybody else. We, uh, this is a principle in this country, that people should have a higher education if they want to do so and have the qualifications to enter it. Students are just as ordinary, nasty, wicked, revolting as anybody else. They are also as nice and as friendly and cheerful and optimistic as everybody else. And a lot of them are. There happens to be a particular group who feel this way about it. Okay. I think it's the students themselves who will have to make that decision. I believe, in fact, by some extraordinary coincidence, uh, you're performing the Messiah in Leeds Polytechnic tonight also. Yes, that actually is the case. And, and even more oddly, uh, the, such financing as the Messiah needs, it does in fact come from the Students' Union. But the Messiah is being performed actually in another building in the Polytechnic, and it's staff and students. It's quite a big choir, about 80 or 90. Uh, it's been rehearsing all yesterday afternoon. Uh, and, and it will do actually rather a good performance of most of the Messiah. Uh, it's an extraordinary thing. I mean, I suppose that by, by the evening, there will be two great sort of streams of prayer 
going out from Leeds Polytechnic, one upwards and the other, I suppose, down or maybe sideways.